What if I told you this is not just an eraser? This can charge your phone in emergency cases. Don't believe me? Just watch this video till the end and you will agree with my statement. So let's start building a power bank with eraser. Let's get started. Hey what's up guys, how are you all? This is Ram and you are watching Infinite Explorer. There is a popular saying, when life gives you lemons, make lemonade. I will refresh it. When life gives you eraser, make power banks. Yes, power banks. If you are new here, consider subscribing by hitting that red subscribe button and ring the bell to get notified whenever a new video is out. I want to thank all of you guys for your comments, likes and support to the channel. We are 1k family now. Hope we achieve a lot more together. Thanks a lot for your support and love. Keep supporting. Today we are gonna make power bank with this eraser. Here are the components required. USB female port to charge your phone, LM7805 voltage regulator IC, a battery, battery clip, and eraser of course. Let's have a look at the circuit. This is not a big deal, it's a simple circuit if you are familiar with different electrical circuits. Just follow this circuit and my instructions to have a clear idea of what you are doing. I connected the circuit as per the diagram to test it before I can fit the setup in this eraser. It's always a good practice to build your circuit on a breadboard before proceeding it to actual project. It's working. Let's start building our eraser power bank. We need to fit this whole setup in this eraser. So take the USB port and make the measurements, cut it accordingly. Do it carefully, protect your hands with gloves as possible. You can charge your phone with this 9V battery, but it can damage your phone. So we take LM7805 voltage regulator IC to convert 9V to 5V stable voltage output. Now take the voltage regulator and solder wise to the base and output. First one is input, then base or ground, then output. Try fitting these two in the slots and see if they are fitting properly or not. If not, then make some more room for the parts. Now take the battery clip and remove the outer cover to make it more compact. Now flip the eraser and make a slot for the battery clip and a small hole to pull the wires. After that, with the help of glue, stick it to the eraser. Trim the extra wires so you can fit the whole circuit in the eraser. Then as per the diagram, connect the positive lead to the input and negative lead to the base or ground of the voltage regulator. You can always refer to the circuit diagram whenever you want. Let's connect the USB female to the base and output of the voltage regulator. So this completes our circuit. Let's run a small test to check if it's working or not before we fit everything into the eraser. I connected USB cable to my phone and battery to the circuit. You can see it's charging. It's working, so we seal them up. If it's not working, check for any shorter terminals or just swap the wires to USB from voltage regulator. I stick a small insulating tape on the head of the IC just to make sure no short circuit occurs. Everything is set. All we have to do is fit all of them in the small area. I'm bending the legs of the IC to make it smaller. I 
I made two holes on the LSA cover to accommodate the battery holder so it makes a nice fit. After sticking it, it looks like this. You can make this even smaller and clean. Take your time and make yourself an emergency power bank. Just connect it to the battery and USB cable of your phone. That's it. It will charge your mobile. It's working. Cool, it's charging. Remember that this will charge your phone very slowly because the current output is very less. It took me around 10 minutes to charge 1%. It's not a fast charger but definitely helps in times of emergency or long power cut days. Check out my channel for more projects. I hope you guys like this video. Give this video a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Meet you in the next week with a brand new video. Until then keep exploring infinity.